hello everyone welcome back to my another video and in this video i'm going to uh, do a tutorials on the r react final form so this is going to be really basic uh, tutorials of the final form so basically what is a react final form right uh, so there are a couple of the forms library which we can implement in our react applications and we could make our life a little easier to when we're submitting our forms because these guys will take care of the uh, validations and also the uh, input field stuff like that which makes our life easier for to implement this kind of form in a react applications so beside this uh, this uh, also has a modular uh, zero dependencies high performance and hook capability which would be a uh, make uh, more better for implementing this uh, library in our react applications so who's using a final form there are a lot of big companies are using final forms in their applications so let's try this final form applications in our applications in this video and let's see how it works so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get start here and this is the uh, the dependencies what is need to be added so this is called a react final form and final form and we need to add in our package manager so i have the uh, project here uh, i'm going to make this a little bigger and let me make this code a little bigger visual studio code so let me install this uh, final form and react final form just pasting it so once i install it uh, i will see definitely see in my package suggestion format here and another thing i'm going to add here is to i'm going to also add a bootstrap here I mean we don't need to add a bootstrap for this one uh, the CSS thing uh, because I just want to add it just to look a little better uh, so I'm going to add the bootstrap CSS classes here so when we do a validation uh, we will also use a bootstrap classes for validation so which would be a little cooler instead of using a uh, that plain or plain form right so okay I'm already add this here so let me save this and let me go to this app.js here and let me uh, delete this i don't even need this okay so i'll just save it here so once i save it there let me go to the bootstrap and let me grab a couple of the forms here so if i go in the forms here in bootstrap so this is one of the uh, login forms template so I'll go in this validation here and uh, I'll just copy this. So this is doing the uh, JavaScript here to do a validation using a bootstrap way, but we're just gonna change a couple of things here. We're not gonna use exactly the same one because we're using a React final form here. So once I get started, so this is the uh, sample code that is provided here. Uh, here's the code of what does it look like for React final form. And we're, we're gonna use this and we're gonna change a little bit here. So let me refresh this. So what happened to my React application? okay i just clean up so nothing is there so i just clean up and looks like uh, this is installed too if i go in package json here react final form and final form has been installed so it just looks good so now what i'm going to do now is i just copy the i just paste it here so once i paste it of course it will not work because the input when i copy the input tab is not closing the first thing and the other is i don't even need the other things for now i'll just remove i just need only one here so i'm gonna clean up a little bit i don't need this no need this valid stuff like this i don't even need a valid and custom here i can write the first name doesn't matter this one and i don't need this i don't need the value okay from control i don't need this i want as well okay looks like this is our the simplest form here only one field first name and submit button and the form and react so if i check it here so if i refresh this so this is how it looks like i make pretty big here the form 200 percent but it's fine uh, let me make a little smaller okay this is how it looks like uh, let me provide some of the classes here from bootstrap container and give a margin here on y-axis five so it looks like this it looks so good so now let me implement this form to the uh, react final form okay so how we're gonna do is the first thing is we need to go here and we need to check this so first thing what we need to do is we need to put the form something called form component and this form component is coming from react final form here if you guys can see so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this okay and when i copy this i need to push inside this uh our form the our form should be inside this render if you check this render here 
and inside this is the another form is started and this is the html form right this is the form from the react final form so i put this form inside the form here so now let me see uh, i need to close this of course form here close it and i need to also uh, use this here okay <clears throat> I have this now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, our form here, here and I'm going to paste it here so it looks so good and we need to import this of course this form and this field from react final form so now let me put this here okay I imported here looks good so far so what is on submit so we need to also show that we need to also tell that what is on submit is going to be so whenever the form will submit then this function will trigger and this will give me give us a two values the one is data and another is form data okay so i'll just print the data for now so now it will not even work uh, because we need to also specify what is a validate. So validate is basically nothing. Uh, it's a form level of validation. So whenever the validation will occur, this function will trigger. I'm going to talk about this a little later. So handle submit. So if I check now React applications, it looks okay. The form is not defined. Okay. If I refresh it, looks good so far of course it's going to complain for a four it's nothing this is the four is going to complain it here it's fine and the class uh the react doesn't like the class right it it, it they loves the class name so i'm going to put a class name here so okay it so looks good so far if i refresh okay uh, yeah this form is basically you should we should use html for here instead of for that's how the react Look it, like it okay looks good so far if i submit it doesn't do anything it just submit on this and you refresh it that's what it's trying to it's doing so when we do our form here so this is our standard javascript submit form so whenever we do a standard javascript submit then we just pass the handle submit so handle submit will pass on submit and on submit will print it here so now let me see if i go in here if i submit nothing will happen why because we already we we passed this handle submit which does work which does work but it, we, we we didn't bind our uh, this our component so just like input type stuff like that to this form level to this form of the react final form so react final form doesn't know what are the uh, input how many inputs are here or how many input fields are here so we need to specify we need to bind it okay so there are a couple of things uh, ways to bind it so the first thing what they're going to use is they're going to use a field of course uh, in the field they can uh, we can already also specify directly a component here called input so instead of uh, specify the component as input we can also render and in a render we will get an input and meta and we could also use this so let me use this i'm going to show you using this on different component uh, not component uh, yeah html components such as like select or uh, select or option uh, checkbox stuff like this but for input type i'm going to use this so what we're going to do here is uh, uh yeah right here we're going to use this field and this field is also coming from react final form okay let me make it bigger so so on this field here on the name here what we're going to do is the name is going to be our first name and in the render we'll render the input and bio so input now it's all the input type. input is basically all these functions such as on chains on click values stuff like this it will come inside the text area here so we don't need a text area we need the input here and we also need the class name here okay looks good so we don't need this at all so instead of label we, we will use the same label what we have it so we'll just put, put it here and this is for a validation so this is all our input fields already i don't need the old one i'm going to remove the old one and this is our the new one right here so let's see how it looks like so if i put here something if i submit then we will see the values as you can see if i just submit we didn't see the any values here and if i put something here we'll see the values here we can also put the initial values here on the form so what we're going to do is on the initial values the initial value is basically how many field uh, our property we have in our uh, form level so what we can do is we can do a first name here like this so our first name first is empty and later on is going to be oh just change this as a make it a consistent here 
okay the first name is empty and later on it's going to uh, update this one if we want to check the values in the real time then what we can do we will get a, something called a value field here and inside this value field we can print it out so in our form label here what we're going to do is we're going to do a json.stringify and we're going to print the values here so we can see the what's going on so here the first thing one is going to re reload then it's, it's a first name when i click a, click a submit form also it, it's empty because we provide the initial values here as a empty that's why it's printing otherwise before it doesn't print anything it just print an object empty object right so if i change it it's going to change it and submit the form looks good so far our form is almost ready here all right so now let's do some validations here so let's see the let's assume that this is a require file so how are we going to do it this is a require file right so when i copy the code before from here and we i also copy something called meta here so inside this meta we will get something called dirty thoughts error pristine everything so using this meta field here we could able to do a validation here so as i put it this code here even though the validation doesn't even work why because inside this validate function we haven't write any validations okay so that's the one of the reasons so what we're going to do here is we're going to get a value here right so once we get the values here what we're going to do we're going to do a values oh we're going to create another one here the uh error here errors object which is going to be empty so whenever this value values first name right because this is our first name field has a empty if, if the values first name has a empty then we're gonna put the errors in a first name we're gonna put the first name is required name is require okay we're going to put this and we need to return this error value that's it i mean we could also do a more validation here right if the character of the first name should be uh more than 15 more than 10 less than 20 stuff like this we could able to do a validation here as well but for now let's do validation is require okay so once i put this validation now so now let's see what will happen so if i go in react final form if i submit so now it's complete it's already told me the first name is real submit form doesn't even print anything so if i put something here if i submit then it does work and if i didn't print it such as like if i touch it and if i go to different here uh any click somewhere here then it also tell me the first name is required the first name is required is printing pretty okay but it's nice not using any of the bootstrap classes here so let me use a couple of the bootstrap classes for this year so how are we going to use it so so in bootstrap uh, what it's going to provide is it's going to provide is is invalid uh class name so when it's invalid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and instead of this class name use this and if if everything is looks i mean if there is touch and if it has an error so we're going to throw the uh we're gonna add we're gonna add a class here on form control we're gonna add a class called invalid okay so here this is a regular form control class so on our uh, our, our our form control class we're gonna add something called is invalid why i add invalid because when we use in is invalid here then we can able to use something called here class called invalid feedback so now let's see how this looks on the form. Looks as you guys can see, it looks pretty cool here already. It's already given a couple of values. So just like if I submit, then it gives a values. And if I refresh now, if I click it here and it click somewhere else, it will give me a validation here. The first name is required. That's it. The form is our is ready for this one. So here we are just using the field for first name, right? So now let me show you guys how to use other fields such as like checkbox right so for a checkbox it's also pretty easy so i'll just copy this now so so another for another will show up on the bottom well it looks okay uh and for on oh, you know what let me let me do this let me let me copy this not on the bottom on the side because i'm using the uh, bootstrap uh, grid system here so here is the first name so this is another copy one so instead of using the uh, field here for this name so now let me use this for a uh, checkbox so checkbox let me use something called employee okay so 
on this name of employee so this is the class name of the label and for this one we will use this label on our here on the bottom I we don't need this now so this is we don't need a value distance here for checkbox because it's already false when they didn't pick it so on the input type is of we don't need to use this class at all we use a form this is the class of the uh, bootstrap form check input input and no need meta and employee is good it's not first name it's employee and the input type name and then we need to provide the the type let me give a type here and it's going to be checkbox okay so this is a new uh, property which i added on our form level so let me add on in the initial values of this is a false true false as well so when is initial value is false so let me do it checked or oh, not here on this input here checked is the values dot not values yes sorry how about the employee so this values is coming from here if you guys here okay so now how it looks like is it looks like this it has a false inside uh, let me let me see what happened here so it's using an employee field check box input time is checked it's not type it's a I mean it's the E so if I refresh now CC this is an employee if I check it then it's true false right true false so this is how we can implement a checkbox okay using a render here and now let me show you to use uh, something called but we don't need to use this render all the time we can directly use this field as well so I'm going to show you how we can use the field without using a render so so this is another field so this will be here so for this one what we're going to use is select select okay and the type is going to be uh sorry we can use a component here this is html component which is called we're going to use call select select and we don't need to use this at all render because inside this field we're gonna use a component called select and this is called maybe fab color doesn't matter whatever the form is and inside the fab color what we're gonna do we're gonna use option option so let me put two more options here called value call red and maybe the value call green and here the option this is a value and this is a label value and the label okay i'm hoping that you guys know already know the how the html forms such as like options and checkbox work if you guys don't know then it's going to be a little difficult to understand this stuff so field has a favorite col fab color component is a select and it's an option here fab color we don't have a defined in the initial values here so i'll just define as an initial values here comma call fab color is equal to this so now if i refresh now so this is how it looks like and in initial oh i put the same name there looks like yeah so if i refresh here so this is a uh, looks like so if i click red it's going fab color will be red green green of course if i submit it doesn't work because we need to provide these values and if i submit now it will so we're going to see this the values here right this does not looks like the bootstrap so what we're going to do is we're going to add a class here and it's called form select so if i do form select now if i refresh it looks a little better right and we don't have a labels now for this so let me add a label 
and this label is going to be color color uh, color okay so now this is how it looks like so i mean this need to be in on the bottom or maybe somewhere here on the bottom right but anyway so that's how we could use the uh, react final form on the react application guys so i hope you guys learned something new i'm gonna put this code in a uh, github and if you guys have any, any questions please uh, uh comment below and uh, if you guys like this video and learn some, something new please subscribe and like my channel and thank you very much for guys for watching this bye for now